So on TV number one, we progress with the quarterfinals. Welcome back, everybody. With Carol as player one, Geoffrey as player two. These two players know each other quite well. They start with Flower Cup. Good luck. That's quite unfortunate. Geoffrey had a red shell and Carol had a feather. So what Geoffrey did was actually just stop driving. Forces Carol to either just get behind everything. As a result, when they are both very um, badly ranked, like seven and eight. In the next, in the next lap, Geoffrey actually got a lightning. That's extremely unfortunate, but hey, that's just item luck, really. Still managed to become, f still bec managed to become first and second. So that random red again. The luck of the French is the only thing that they can actually give them the winner. Because skill wise, France isn't good at all. Only Froa, the rest suck ass. You see, skill-wise, the French actually suck. Carol just keeps going until, as if it's just single play. So it's 15-15 right now. Third round. Again, Geoffrey with the lock of the red shell. That's the only thing they can actually give them the win. Without items, they have no clue what to do. Geoffrey taking it safe, knowing Carol had the mole on his face. Yoshi actually landed an egg on Joffrey's head. Not sure why Carol didn't fire the red shell at that moment. It should just make it a double combo. So this is indeed what Harold said, what a gift.
the do the double the gift and the regift. Yeah, make make it the double combo. <coughs> and then sadly made the turn against the wall. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Half left behind is in dire need of a good item. <coughs> but in match race, you can't get lightning a second, whereas you can in a uh, match race. Geoffrey enters the final lap. Carol, being almost mind boggled, has no clue what to do. Then just drive it out and try to get Joffrey to end up third or fourth in one of the other rounds. Joffrey taking it safe. As of right now, Joffrey is in the position of a win unless Carol can actually knock him out. That's the only way of Carol actually come back on this one. If not, this will be the first victory go to France. So far it seems that this win goes to Joffrey. There's nothing Carol can do right now. He needs to knock him out, at least place number four. Indeed, the first win for Geoffrey. This is the first of three. The white button in the back, behind, in the back. The small thing in behind is a white button. Ah, okay. Thank you, Patrick. Or Carol can do that. Mushroom. Carol, what is that? Reset the SNES. That can you. And Ralph, cup number two, Geoffrey in the lead.
you're free with the, with the green shell. Carol would not have it this time. And he got him in the second round. Such an unfortunate random green. Again, the French in the lead because of items. Such an unfortunate second lab, random green. Exactly, why always me? The long boost path being absolutely barricaded right now. One green vanished, replaced by a banana, making the long boost near the finish a little bit harder to do. Will Carol get it? Oh, he missed the item shot. This is unfortunate. Carol can can overtake him, but he missed the item just barely. Or else it might be a random green coming up, or a mushroom. So this is Joffrey with six points in the lead. Carol needs to win the upcoming three rounds. And yes, Pete, Harold is actually sitting in the middle, in the background, as you see him. With one leg over the other. Both again with a super start. Neck and neck. Can't really do much with bananas. Again with a lucky random green, with, with the red. So lucky again. It's the French only chance of winning anything at all in the world. With luck from outside. And of course, and unfortunately, no Dutch. Carol got ahead. Next item, red. It's just the, the look de la French. Yeah, you probably gonna see your red.
pure free, second place. Gets a good item on this one. Even though there's no real spot where you can do a super long boost. Only here at the start a little bit. But it's tricky to pull off. Even if Joffrey gets a red here, it's very hard to hit Carol because of the tight corners. As you see, without items, Joffrey is nowhere. Carol now in the lead by a large margin. Only a feather can save Joffrey. But no items, so this is a win that goes to Carol. But since Geoffrey won the previous three, one, three rounds, Carol needs to kick Geoffrey out, actually, in a different way. So this means Carol needs to knock him out at least number third for him to make a tie. Indeed, putain luck. Carol slowly catching up. Well, will he get an item he needed? Only one corner away from each other now. Gets another banana. Yes, that's the item that can win him. Joffrey fails to ring shell. Carol was trying to do actually kick Joffrey off. Winning actually didn't really matter. That means 2-0. Two 2-0 zero. Two zero for Joffrey. Joffrey on match point. Stark up. Carol again in second place, not getting the item he wanted, uh, like Joffrey had. Even though in Koopa Trooper Beach you can actually just dodge by going over the dark water, so no danger there. Carol being ahead by quite a margin, so it's safe to say that Carol gets the first course. No pressure there, and they continue to the next route. <laughs> the next one, Choco Island 2. Quite a choke point, and anything, literally anything, can happen. Choco Island 2. You can be number six and still become first with a feather. And knowing Joffrey probably gets a feather. Please. 
and like I said, he gets the feather. That's the French look, no skill, only look. You see, no skill at all. He even failed a simple, simple jump that even I can do. So... Final lap. Oh, he missed one MBT. That's gonna cost him the game. But still, that luck, the La Plume, though. So French, no skill. Only luck and still fail. Okay, one out of five skill then. This is so unlucky. No retro here for the Frenchie. Just feathers. Carol takes this home easy peasy. No pressure. Carol takes the lead now with three coins. Two courses left. If Geoffrey takes the next, it's gonna be... Joffrey again, second place with a red shell. The lock, but failed to use it. Because Carol's just way too good in driving. And the lock with the feather. Block him, Carol, block him. And he failed. You see, they get the items of the lock, but they fail to execute it. Very nicely placed there by Carol. Well done. All this time, no new items for Joffrey. And this is the third win for Carol. Joffrey can't win by simply driving. He needs to kick Carol off the track. circuit full nothing can go wrong here this is just driving
your free weight coins, you can't do much with the coins. He needs to put some sort of action. This is what Geoffrey does. Just waits around, get try to get a good item. But in first place, the odds of getting good item is very slim in compared to number two. Carol now in the lead with a large margin. Geoffrey jo jo knows it's over. And you can definitely tell because he starts talking. <laughs> not, not even a lightning, not even three lightnings can stop him now. Not even permanent lightning. <laughs> well, Joffrey is smiling because he knows he's still in the lead. <laughs> so this win goes to Carol. <laughs> Joffrey plays with his food. Carol with the pressure. Will Carol get a good good item this time? Mushroom is handy and he bounces right into Joffrey. Unfortunate, well timed block there by Joffrey, though. The final lap. What can happen now? Well done by Joffrey by blocking blocking the long boost. Seems like Joffrey's taking it home easy. With a feather. No. It's not working out for Carol, really. Missed the zoom start, causing a chain of reaction. Joffrey now in the lead, but still not a determined win. Third round, Ghost Valley 3.
Dong. And the body check, won there by Joffrey. Knocking Carol all the way out of the track. Carol has pretty much no chance. Only with lightning can this turn around. Perhaps even a double lightning. And the French, and getting knocked by the computer, and having no coins. <laughs> Carol being absolutely ass raped here. <laughs> and it's over for Carol. Carol is no longer able to beat the CPUs here. And it's done for. Carol can no longer finish this. And it's 3 3 3 1 for Joffrey. That means this means Joffrey won. Oh, maybe not. I thought it was round number four. I take that back. But yeah, I guess I just speak from a little bit of the Captain Obvious chair here. That there's no way Carol can do this. Carol shot Joffrey there, but because he touched water, it actually resets the hit. Yeah. You knocked him forward and actually hits the, uh, hits the water, resetting the collision. So he can instant drive off again. Carol fell in the water with a hair slide. And this is Joffrey in the finals, in the semi-finals. Overall, a lot of luck of the French, but the last, the last call was just a lot of fail from Carol's side as well. Missing the zoom start is one of it, and just unable to keep up. That's 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 May. Aaron said means not your best, uh, not your not your best day. 